welcome. We want to accompany somebody on the, at the piano and that somebody is probably singing blues. Uh, when we accompany, we must not stick out too much and rather place, uh, play riff-like patterns. And today we are doing just that. Then later on you can also play fills between the uh, singing phrases or the saxophone phrases. But today it's about those accompanying patterns actually. Now before we go into slightly more um, uh, complicated territory, we must treat the basic. And the basis has always been um, two things. You just listen to uh, whatever, B.B. King or many others, uh, this has been the basis of the shuffle. And uh, this is basically C, and then we go briefly to the F inversion here. And you see? And then for this purpose, this is great to use this left hand also. Both is basically simulating the uh, guitar patterns. And then on F it's... F and then briefly going to the B flat inversion. So this is basically, uh, you see, in C we go briefly to F, in F we go briefly to B flat, and on G we go briefly to C. There's a pattern in that you might have realized. So that means we go always briefly to the uh, four, to the subdominant of the Temporary, temporary root, like C F. From F, the subdominant would be B flat, the fourth, and from G it's the same. So that's a basic fundamental um, rule. And then the second one of the really um, classic is this one. Again, now we are again in C7, you see? So the, the thirds go up and in this case, when you play this right hand, this is nice to take this left hand running parallel. It's good if you have a finger setting here also. I do it with one, two, three, then I can tie to two, four, and from here I tie to three and five. And here I also set over the second finger in the left hand. And in G is the same, it's, uh, it just runs parallel. So these are really must-have patterns and uh, you can then mix patterns in the different choruses. Ah yeah, and you can also, uh, if you have straight blues, fantastic, like... Uh, same pattern. Many, many songs have been accompanied by the band or by the um, pianist like that. We start with the first one and that would go like this. In F. And then G of course. Now. 
have to we only have one bar for both um, for the whole pattern so or you can also tie it like so how does it go one and two and three and four and now you can do the following things you can do or you can also use the thumb in between both the same uh, quality you can use the second one maybe in the next chorus so you have a little um, extra give a little bit more energy into the accompaniment again Careful with those arpeggios and uh, no, with those syncopations. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two, three and so on. We want to go ahead and manage another one. And that one goes. Let's have a look. We start with that, this one, fifth one. So basically what we do is we um, oscillate between the C and the F. C7, thumb, F, thumb. C, F, C. You cannot slide this one, this is pretty hard. So you can just play F7, B flat here, F, B flat, one. What about G then? You can use half of the pattern. C, uh, G7 now. Uh, we are here in G7 and then going to C briefly to G. Turn around. I hope you liked my video and that you learned something. Now you can subscribe. Just press this subscribe button or click on another of my videos on this side. Thanks for watching. See you next time.